53 on FT headquarters. 100 miles south, Officer Chris McKee is patrolling the woods for illegal tree stands when he's interrupted by a message to call dispatch. I received that text message in reference to the exotic bird. I'll give the individual a 10-9. 10-5. Evidently, he's called a couple of police departments, uh, all of which tell him to call here. He's got it contained right now. 10-5. Somebody has an exotic bird at their house in Derry, right on the London Derry town line. So I'm gonna give the individual a call and see what exactly what's going on here. Hello? Hi, hey, it's Peter there. Who's calling, please? This is Officer McKee with New Hampshire Fish and Game. How are you today? You, you, you're talking to his wife, Gail. Uh, I heard you guys have a visitor there. Oh, yeah, we're trying to keep him contained. Yeah, so what type of bird is it? Do you guys know? No, I don't. Okay. I know he's green and blue. Very okay, but I'll be heading that way from Chester. I'll see you a little bit, thank you. Bye-bye. I don't know much about exotic birds. I have no idea what to look at or watch for. How are you today, bud? Hi, bud, how are you? There's never a dull day. I mean, how often do you get to go catch an exotic bird in somebody's yard? Which is probably not game or wildlife, but if no one else is gonna help them, we're gonna go figure out what it is. Must be 20, there they are, perfect. How are you today? I can actually see them sitting at the picnic table with a laundry basket and what looks like an old screen door kind of laying over the top of it. So I'm assuming the bird has got to be underneath that laundry basket. Huh. Man, try to get all of them. Because... He's extremely thirsty and hungry. Huh. Oh, yeah. Be able to come right, will you hop right in your hand, Willie? Oh, yeah, he's very friendly. I just didn't want him to fly away. Right. You know, can he fly? Uh, yes, he can fly. Yeah. Okay. He just landed right in my husband's lap. <laughs> At first, he was very weak, like he didn't want to move. Yep. So we get him to water and... Huh. Hey. Yeah. I have no idea what this bird is. I, I just saw it for the first time. It is some sort of parrot, I'm going to guess. Yeah, we'll bring him over. We'll put him online to see if anybody says they lost one. If not, we'll bring him over to uh, one of our wildlife centers. He's very, very friendly. Yeah? I wanted to visit. He slid off the roof. <laughs> like, yeah, what kind of bird is this? Yeah. You OK? <laughs> We're going to try and find your owner. Perfect. Well, I appreciate the call, so have a wonderful day. Oh, we're animal lovers. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. He's going to be a domestic animal, but we'll at least take him out of here. Looks like he's in jail. Um, obviously, it's somebody's pet. It's not native to the area, so I'm going to get in touch with local animal control to see if they might be able to take it and take custody of it, um, put it online, and figure out who actually this bird belongs to. Hi, it's Officer McKean, New Hampshire Fish and Game. How are you today? Not bad. Hey, I just went over to uh, Pinion Place in town and picked up an exotic bird. It happens to be actually somebody's pet parrot. Do you guys have like an animal control officer or anything that will actually take that? I mean, being a domestic bird, I, I've removed it from yeah. their yard and stuff. No, the only thing I am controls that deals with their dogs. Just dogs? Yeah, just dogs. Okay. Apparently, it does not like my driving. Hi, hey, it's Officer McKee, New Hampshire Fishing Game. How are you today? Not bad. Can you have the ACO give me a call? I don't know if she's on. Is Robin still working tonight or? Uh, she left at uh, 3. Okay. No one is going to be helpful tonight. Right now, my first thought is, what am I going to do with it? My lieutenant, I got to take this one. How are you, sir? Hey, I meant to ask you, what was the bird? I have no idea. I, it's some sort of parrot. But London Dairy only deals with dogs. Dairy animal control officer cannot be called after hours. So I am stuck with a parrot right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing just as hard. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Unfortunately, the local animal control officers are not willing to take it. They want nothing to do with it. So at this point in time, I'm just going to uh, take the bird and contact a rehabber. Hopefully, they'll be able to help me out. Let me call Jane Kelly. She's one of my rehabbers. She usually does with birds of prey. Hey, Jane, how are you? I have a parrot. Somebody down in Londonderry was out in their yard and this thing landed in their lap. <laughs> and I have no place to keep a bird. I'm going to try to take a picture of it and put it online, but it's a tiny little thing. It's like the size of my fist. It's, uh, it's friendly. Uh, no, I, I just think it's kind of you know, That would be amazing. I'm in Raymond right now. I'll probably head over your way. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. 
harbor. Somebody that actually will be able to help and know what's going on here, so. All right, buddy, found you a home for the night. She takes basically birds of prey. She'll take hawks, falcons, owls, things like that. She's not known to take, you know, exotic birds, but she's just helped me out here. She has the equipment and everything to take care of this bird. He's tiny, he's friendly. Oh, Any idea? It's little, it is it? tiny. I don't know if it's a baby. He does fly. Black cat or a green cheek? He has no tail feathers. I guess they're starting to form, maybe. Yeah, they're coming in. I don't know anything about parrots, but I'll just put them on Facebook. And... Perfect. Looks happy. Oh, poor little guy. Well, I All appreciate right. it. Yeah. Sounds <laughs> good. good. Thank you. You, you too. Yeah. Take care. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks. So that was the best case scenario. She's on social media all the time, so she'll be able to post a picture and get in contact with some other bird groups and get it out that we found the parrot and hopefully reunite it with its owner. So parrot's in good hands, hopefully well taken care of, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, find out that it was able to be returned home.